Sorry, my life is so boring. Heard it here first, folks. Okay, two things. I wasn't planning on turning on the camera today. I had a migraine yesterday and it just completely flipped my sleep schedule. I don't think I got out of bed on Saturday until 8 p.m. I'm running off of no sleep. I pulled an all-nighter last night to hopefully reverse that today i'm mostly turning on the camera today to hold myself accountable and promising myself that i'm not going to take a nap so that i can actually reset tonight and get to bed early many hours later it is mid-afternoon i am so tired already <laughs> Um, I swear to God, I can't keep a single thought in my head. I was trying to do readings for class and I was reading the same sentence over and over again. Tried practicing, uh, same thing. Brain was just like not processing things. So I think instead of trying to force something that is obviously not coming, I want to spend a couple of hours at the movies. Matt and I bought tickets to Puss in Boots. <laughs> just something that doesn't require a lot of processing power up here. <laughs> and we're just gonna kill a couple of hours. Here's hoping that the movie is not boring and that I don't end up falling asleep. We just got out of the most adorable movie ever. It was a great pick for when I am feeling sleepy and running off of no sleep because I didn't fall asleep at all. Granted, it's pretty hard to mess up a movie where your entire protagonist team is like cute dogs and cats. Um, but I thought it was a great way to kill two hours. And now I'm closer to bedtime than ever. It's 5.30. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I think it's time to call it a night and just give up, go to bed, get up tomorrow. <laughs> Kind of proud of myself for staying up as long as I did though because truly I feel like that was a feat of momentous proportions. Plus I have a bet with Matt going about being better about waking up on time and going to the gym so it's probably good to get some sleep anyway. Insert clip here. What did you just say to me? I said if you get up, you know what, seven days a week's a little hard. Five out of the seven days next week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we go to the gym by 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I will buy you something at Aritzia. You heard it here first, folks. Okay, challenge accepted. Finally made it to a decent hour where I can reasonably go to sleep. <laughs> I'm trying out this new thing this year where I and the night not on my phone. I'm doing a lot more reading for pleasure, which I feel like sometimes it's been beaten out of me because of all the reading I have to do for classes. So most of the books I'm reading are kind of like fiction, fantasy, or romances, or something like easy to get through. But regardless, it's a good way to end the night that doesn't have me staring at a screen because I really do think it's been affecting my sleep. I think I'm gonna call it a night and I will talk to you in the morning. Who gave you permission to be this cute? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I failed spectacularly the first day. I tried this waking up early and going to the gym thing. But, talked to Matt and I think he's gonna give me a free pass. <laughs> and the good news is, I did get up in time for today. So yay for second chances. And let's go be healthy. Amazing what you can get done when you wake up this early. <laughs> I am about to head to school. I think I might even have a little bit of time to do some editing um, before class, which is great. I think today, besides class, I'm just gonna stay uh, on campus, practice. Uh, I also have to teach just a little bit today, just two, which I'll do from the practice rooms as well. This week is shaping up to be super work heavy, but like in a way where it's manageable, you know, there's the kind of work that you 
run around and it feels never ending and like you're just not gonna get everything done. This week, I feel like if I stay on track <laughs> and keep focused, I should be able to get everything that I need to get done, done. So I'm gonna focus on packing up um, and start heading to school. But real quick, I was getting dressed this morning <laughs> and um, I think I said this in a previous vlog, but this hoodie that I'm wearing, it's called the Sailor Moon hoodie. I think it's because she wore something like this in the original cartoon, but I'm not entirely sure. It's been ages since I watched that. Um, but I was like, let's lean into it in the most subtle little like anime bounding kind of way. And so <laughs> look how cute. It's a little Luna and also Galaxy Star Ring. Always fun to add these little touches to my day and nobody else is gonna notice, but I'll know and it makes me happy. <laughs> so let's head to school. <laughs> literally killed like 30 minutes trying to find a practice room. I gave up halfway and just sat for a little while doing something else, but the afternoons here in the practice building, it's a real hit or miss. So anyway, I finally got to a room um, just as someone was leaving it, perfect timing. I'm going to try and get a little bit of practice in um, before I have to teach for the evening. And then I think I'm just gonna camp out in this room while I have it until I finish everything I need to finish tonight. I also like how essentially practice rooms turn into a little home every time you're in it. Um, for example, we have my sustenance corner where I have multiple jackets and an energy drink um, to make sure I stay sustained. Eventually dinner will potentially also go here. I have all my stuff. I have my teaching corner set up. I have music, music for my students, notepad and keyboard. We're prepared for anything, y'all. I am already so tired. <laughs> um, also really hungry. Funny how consistently working out will do that to a person. Um, I think it's time to go home because I was literally just playing the same passage of music over and over again and if you ask me to play it now or tell you anything about it, I couldn't. So when my brain decides to start shutting off like that in the middle of practice, that's when it's not even worth it to try to continue anymore. Time to cut our losses and head home. And I think food, homework, editing, and um, I'm sorry my life is so boring. <laughs> I feel like I'm recording all of this and one day I'm gonna look back on it and be like, oh, remember when I was in school? Remember how great that was? But for right now, it mostly just feels like a never ending like cycle of the same thing over and over and over again. And yes, I don't think it helps that I have a practice room right next to a trumpet. They be low key distracted. <laughs> if too many keyboards are playing at once, And during the week, I'm starting to realize that there's just a lot going on, but simultaneously not a lot going on, you know? Like, I'm going to class, I'm practicing, and nobody really needs to see all of that stuff. So, um, I think I'm gonna try out this new format. Today's Thursday, and I'm just going to kind of list out what needs to happen today. Um, and like, check that off kind of like I, I once read this one thing and I can't remember who the author was and I'm sure a lot of people have had this idea where life is kind of like a video game and you're just like doing side quests or like collecting things throughout the day and you level up I really like the analogy the like type a striving to achieve part of my brain it scratches that itch really really well so we're setting intentions for today um, I already worked out and went through emails this morning um, so for the rest of today, we have to finish readings for class. I have class itself, and then I go straight into teaching. After that, I have a call with my best friend. We're planning a trip to Costa Rica later this year, so we need to figure out details for that. I'm going to hit two and a half hours of practice. I'm going to finish editing last week's video and get it uploaded. I'm going to submit my homework assignment, and 
somewhere in there we're gonna figure out food and more likely than not multiple rounds of caffeine and we're going to do one thing for ourselves whether that's watching an episode of a show or reading or chatting with a friend whatever one thing for mental health and ourselves okay, we're already running late so let's go <laughs> Okay, so managed to feed myself, um, but realized once I got here, I didn't bring my pass that lets me into the building. So, so since I don't have my ID, pretty much that means that once I am in here, that's it. I can't leave because I can't get back in. It is now almost 4 p.m. Um, I will probably be here until about 10 or 11, <laughs> just squatting because I, I can't go get in or out. <laughs> You want the insomnia cookies in here too? Amazing! This is how well our semester is going. Yeah. Hour one of practice done. Um, I'm trying to fit in two and a half hours today, so a little bit over half to go. But the practice room that I'm in, the pedal just snapped on me. Um, and now there's a pin that I don't want to touch laying on the ground. <laughs> mm. But I'm also settled into the space and have all my stuff around me and don't want to move. So I've just been using the middle pedal instead, which is of course not the same thing. I'm going to finish out the second half of my practice session and then pack up and go home. <laughs> about nine I got a good almost two and a half hours I'm just slightly shy but I am so hungry I haven't had dinner yet so I think I have to call it quits for tonight and get some food so we are going to head out and I think I'm gonna have to watch back the clip this morning from when I was like planning my day out to figure out what else I said I was going to do today okay let's go I don't know if you can hear probably not with me talking over it but do you hear the absolute wheezing that my computer is doing? Also, render faster. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, finally done with the upload. It is almost two in the morning. I am so exhausted, I don't think I'm thinking straight. I think I need to get some rest. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of the tasks I actually hit today. Luckily, the assignment I had due for class, um, we're still in first module, so the deadlines for first module are a little bit more relaxed, um, so I think I'll be fine if I submit it tomorrow. Hopefully I hit everything else. I did do something for myself, I didn't pick up the camera because I was relaxing but I did watch like an episode of Gilmore Girls with dinner so we can check that one off too anyway it has been a long day thank god it's Friday tomorrow I think I get to sleep in a little bit so I will check in with you all in the morning good morning um I was supposed to vlog yesterday I didn't I had some health things going on so mostly just spent the entire day watching movies in bed um so really you didn't miss much i'm just finishing up my morning coffee and i'm going to go through my usual morning routine of going through emails working on my taxes a little bit at a time um i i like to keep everything super organized up through april um, so I can just get it out of the way. And then I think today I am going to grab some sushi and <laughs> head up to a friend's. We haven't seen each other in a little bit. Um, so just a little bit of a catch up. And then I'm playing with the idea of maybe going down to the university to do my practice and work. That interview show I talked about last week, um, I have to interview somebody for that. And as long as I have a quiet space, I think I'll be fine doing it at school. I just feel like whenever I'm at home, um, as someone who works from home for the most part, it's sometimes hard to 
set those boundaries of like work and life for myself so if i'm in my office for the most part i'm i'm able to focus but sometimes if i'm not in the right mind space i find myself getting distracted whereas if i'm at school and i'm in a practice room there's literally nothing to distract you because you're in an empty room and the only thing that you have is the piano in front of you so i might do that just to give myself that like um environment to do work in anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my work finish drinking this coffee and then start getting ready to head out got the goods um i'm gonna head up and door dash this to <laughs> my friends i feel like i've been pretty harsh on la for some of these vlogs mostly because i hate getting around town here but one of the good things and something that i'm still kind of not used to because i'm from the midwest is the fact that their grocery store sushi is actually really good like restaurant quality sushi if you go to a lot of the like japanese grocery stores around here they'll have restaurant grade like just really really good sushi for way cheap prices just trying to keep the score even for you know between the things that i like about la and the things that i don't like so much about la anyway we've got some hungry mouths to feed so let's go <laughs> As you can tell, it's dark outside. Um, I stayed much longer than I thought I would. I The plan was to originally go to USC and do my interview. I ended up just using a corner of Sarah's floor. So now it's about seven and I think I'm still going to head to USC, probably not for as long of a period as I initially thought I was going to, but I do just want to get a little bit of practice in and I just focus better at the school. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna head home because I just remembered that I'm meeting with some friends tomorrow and they lent me a good quality camera with a macro lens, which is what I need to take pictures of some jewelry. I'm trying to get some jewelry up on Etsy and um, I didn't have a camera that could quite handle shooting objects so close. So since I'm meeting up with them tomorrow, I would really like to be able to return their equipment. So I am going to start heading to school. Hopefully traffic's not too bad this time of night. constantly like I'm half done practicing I'm half done with my homework I'm half done editing I guess that comes with the territory of trying to like work and maintain a job but still be in grad school but still make time for relationships and friends but it is a lot of like whiplashing back and forth and doing one thing and then leaving it and moving to another and I think scientifically that's actually not the best way to do things like I think I read somewhere that if you focus on one task at a time, you're actually much more likely to get things done in a timely fashion. But when you're in school and trying to maintain a career, despite our best intentions, that's literally just not possible. Like the math will not math when you try and fit in all the hours that you need per day. I used to give myself a lot of crap for that and kind of beat myself up. At this point, I think I've just accepted that this is going to be the reality until I'm out of school, which I still have like two years left in my program. So it won't be for a while. <laughs> and we're just going to, we're gonna continue to be grateful. We're gonna continue to give ourselves grace every single day. Oh. Do it haphazardly. Smack it, mean? smash it. It's a cleaver, want, Tracy. I don't wanna smash it. All right, I realize it looks like I have something like holy. <laughs> here giving off a lot of light but i am just working on taking pictures that i'm not qualified to be taking so the thing about apparently 
jewelry and taking pictures of jewelry is that it's so small that a typical camera can't capture something that close up without blurring it and still keeping the focus. So you have to use a macro lens, like a specific lens to work with such small pieces of things with detail. So this giant camera is on loan from a friend and I am just working as fast as I can to try and get everything photographed before I have to return the equipment. And apparently I can't talk and do work at the same time. But it is fun to get to work with pretty stuff like this. Like, look how pretty that is. Anyway, I think this is what I'm doing with the rest of my night. So I might as well just end it today. <laughs> I'm gonna start again um, a new one tomorrow. So as always, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And I will see you next week.